The issue with product burnout, in my opinion, is that these these drop shippers end up getting such bad reviews. Um, you know, they bad reviews. Their website isn't branded. They don't have. They're reusing the same photography and videography that everyone else is using, which is um, a huge red flag for Facebook now, right? Like they're coming after that hard. Correct. 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 And I just think that I I have a sense that what ends up happening is they see a decline in the product sales and instead of actually being invested and using that creative and finding new audiences and new, you know, creative refresh because you're limited to what you stole from someone else that you're just like, ah, screw it, I'm giving up, I'm going to another product. I don't think that that's actually a burnout of the product. I've seen products get revived all the time with creative refresh, repositioning, you know, you have the products here in the state, you can actually shoot new videos and new photos of them. You can, you know, hit up your Facebook friend and say, hey, can I borrow your kitchen for 30 minutes so I can shoot this video? You can be really scrappy about it. You can also start getting really advanced as you start making some good money. Hire a videographer, hire a photographer, get, you know, get some really nice lifestyle photos um, created. There, it's, it's, it's not as difficult as people think. And I don't think the products are burning out. I think people are giving up on them too quickly. And the brands or the stores that are selling them are too low quality that it's it's kind of like a it, it's a compound effect between the two they're cutting corners right and like even when you, when you talking about the packaging it's like that's just a, that's a continuation of of what you what you built your business on which is a continuity of an experience right like you the phone call through to the packaging it's sort of like it just creates a, a, a more seamless customer experience and when you have breaks along that chain you're you're gonna it's it's not gonna work in the long term yep um, one of my friends, Dan Alaric, is the CEO of Grunt Style. Um, I feel like a lot of people know him in the space. I was actually touring.